quick little trick that could get you on air 10 meters AM for almost nothing. You need two things, a 27 megahertz handheld CB radio, the type that was crystal controlled with crystals for both the transmit and receive, and suitable crystals. That can be the hard part, but at least if you're in Australia, you may just have something in your junk box. Here's an example of a new pair of crystals, not sure if it's ever been used, in a nice little case. 27.240, that would have been the transmit crystal, and 455 kHz below it, 26785. And here's some more on that frequency. If your radio is slightly newer, it may have crystals for other frequencies. For instance, 27.125 was a popular frequency. Or if the handheld transceiver was more for marine, it might have a few channels like 27.880 was very popular and possibly some others around that frequency. When you take the back off, have a look inside, you'll be able to identify the battery compartment, the speaker, everything will be on a printed circuit board and you'll be able to see that there are two crystals, at least two crystals. Uh, if it's a single channel radio, it will have one for transmit and one for receive and they will normally be in a crystal socket so you'll be able to pull those crystals out. If it's a better transceiver with provision for multiple channels then you'll see sets of crystal sockets switched by a channel change switch. If you're lucky you'll have multiple channels otherwise there'll be just the one crystal each for transmit and receive. Have a look for these radios at ham fests and junk sales. They might be unloved and cheap if you're lucky. Assuming you've got suitable radios and they can be the earlier type of mobile that were crystal controlled as well as the handheld that you just saw. The next problem, and this is probably the biggest problem, is finding the right crystals. Now for 27 megahertz marine radio they had a transmit crystal just below 28 megahertz so let's say 27.880. The received crystals supplied in most of them were on the low side of the transmit signal. Because of the intermediate frequency in these radios they had to be 455 kilohertz lower so they had to be around here around 27.4 now in the receiver if you've got a local oscillator around this frequency your desired signal is here but there is the risk of picking up image signals down here down around 27 megahertz, a little bit below. The problem with that was particularly during the CB boom where a lot of people were on CB radio on the low end of 27 megahertz. You might be in your boat and hoping to hear activity on 27880 or even um, monitoring for emergency calls. Anyway, the problem was if there are CBs down here your front end probably wouldn't be very selective and you'd be able to hear these people down here as images. They might interfere. That is the problem if you had a crystal down here on the low side of your transmit frequency. As a way around that, retailers offered what they called high side crystals. Now, the high side receiving crystals were on the higher side of your transmit frequency, not the lower side. Now, the benefit of that, we don't need this anymore, 
is that you'd still be receiving 27880, but any image responses would be up here and at around 29 megahertz around there it's in the amateur band but there's far less activity there especially locally than CB down here around 27 megahertz so these high side receiving crystals gave you quite a bit of immunity from being overloaded by these CBs down here and so you could buy them put them in your marine set and be free of interference now the crystals for those happen to be a bit above 28 megahertz typically between 28.3 and 28.4 which puts us in the 10 meter amateur band at the moment you've got the 27880 megahertz crystal in the transmit socket and the 28.3 something megahertz crystal in the receive socket. Here's a better view. 27.9 meg crystal in the transmit socket and 28.355 in the receive socket. Now what happens if you switch them over? Well 28.355 that's our transmit frequency so that's now within the 10 meter amateur band and here receive crystal is 27.9 and if we retune the front end slightly um, slug in the coil just be careful with your screwdriver preferably using a proper aligning tool so you don't break the ferrite but anyway if you slightly move the slug out that reduces the inductance and that will peak the front end at 28 megahertz so just by doing that little mod of swapping these crystals you've converted it to 28 megahertz or you might need to peak the transmitter up a little bit as well but only possible if you've got the right crystals and that means a high side receiving crystal like you see here so by doing that swapping those two crystals you have just converted a walkie-talkie from a 27 meg marine band to 28 megahertz just an idea have a look see if you've got a 27 meg walkie-talkie or crystal controlled uh, cb see if you've got suitable crystals and for absolutely nothing you might be able to get yourself on 28 megahertz and you'll be able to have a lot of fun getting contacts when conditions are great let me know if you've done it before let me know in the comments below as well if you have any results after doing it after watching this video so yeah a lot of fun just thought i'd share that hint and hopefully you'll have some success on 10 meters pedestrian mobile am if you want to do stuff like this check out my book minimum qrp it talks about equipment antennas and operating for you to succeed with low power amateur radio or if you want something more detailed on antennas i've got two books hand carried qrp antennas and more hand carried qrp antennas for more information visit my website vk3ye.com or search the titles on amazon those